Hey YouTubers, today I would like to talk to you guys about protein. Um, what I'd like to share, because um, I'm protein sensitive, I'd like to share um, what I've been doing um, and tips that have worked for me um, while using proteins. Um, African American hair, when natural, um, doesn't need as much protein, but it does need protein to help it. Um, when relaxed, your hair needs, um, because of the chemicals, and it strips your hair of its natural, um, the, the natural cons construction of your hair or whatever, it um, messes with the protein and thus leaving you with hair that needs, requires a lot of protein. But um, I, I stress always research and resources and different things so um, that's going to be a key to helping you um, with this problem protein number one you'd have to find out recognize proteins you'd have to find out um, if your products contain proteins um, how does protein affect your hair some of the symptoms of um, knowing that you're sensitive of protein um, is that your hair is left after using certain conditioners and products your hair is left dry you know it starts to break and it's hard and it has a rough texture it's not because you know the product is a bad product it's just that your hair is probably sensitive to protein um, which requires you to need um, more moisture to combat the the protein okay um, knowing what type of proteins that are in your products also helps. Now, one of the things that has helped me is to identify light proteins and heavy proteins. Megatech is a very heavy protein, and because I'm uh, sensitive to proteins, my hair is, um, I use this on my scalp only. This is a light moisturizing protein, I use this on my hair when my hair needs protein. I would say maybe once every six weeks. Um, Nexus is the same. But what I do with these now, I use them almost weekly. The Nexus and olive oil, the olive oil replenishing conditioner. What I do with them is to maintain my protein, I would put them on dry hair prior to me washing my hair and everything I would put them on dry hair and I would put on a cap leave it on for about 30 to 45 minutes or an hour and let that sit and then I would proceed with my washing and moisturizing conditioner my hair is then left strong and because I use nat um, natural shampoos that doesn't really strip my hair of everything some of the protein is left in it thus leaving my hair stronger and my hair is, you know, nice to the touch and all that. And it doesn't break and, you know, I have less shedding and all that stuff. Now, recognizing proteins in other products like your leave-ins and um, other products like your butters and other things, oils, are proteins as well. So you have to be careful um, when using products. You have to identify proteins. Um, one of the things I would like to stress again is doing your research. No one can do that for you. You have to do it for yourself. And I cannot tell you what works for your hair. I can only tell you what works for my hair. So if you want long, beautiful hair or healthy hair, then you have to put in the work. You have to. It's, it's a must. Some of us grew up, um, with knowing, you know, just not even knowing why we have relaxes in our hair, just knowing, you know, every six weeks or every eight weeks, we have to go and get this thing done to our hair. So it took a lifetime for us to, you know, learn, you know, what works for our hair with the chemicals and whatnot. So it's going to be like treating your hair like a newborn baby. We have to start over and finding out, oh my God, what is my texture? What does my hair like? What happens when I put too much protein? What happens when I put too much moisture? That's the only way that you're going to learn what your hair likes and what it does not like. And people telling you what your hair needs 
is absolutely the wrong way to go. You, your hair will tell you what it needs. If it has too much moisture, it's going to break. If it has too much protein, it is going to break. Your hair will tell you what it needs. Now you have to find out what it's crying for. So you have to do the research. You have to put in the work. We are all kings and queens, people. So we have to treat our crowns with respect. And we have to, you know, love it and treat it nice. And trust me, it will flourish. Now, I'm not saying this because my hair is touching the floor and, you know, I have the best hair and everything. But it is a far difference from what I had um, when I was chemically relaxed. I did not know all of these things about my hair. I, I relied on the the um, hairdresser to tell me what my hair needs, when it needs to trim, and all that stuff. I knew nothing about my hair, really. I just, you know, went with the flow. Didn't even know why I had a relaxer. Actually, my mom doesn't even know why she put a relaxer in my hair. I guess it was in style, and she thought I would be cute, and did it. Um, but now, I know, I sort of know what works for my hair, what doesn't work for my hair, what to pick up from the drugstore, what does not, you know, what I don't pick up, and what ingredients work for my hair. That didn't happen overnight, people. It's been two years since I've stopped using chemicals. And I'm still learning. I still have a far, long way to go. Um, a lot of, like, this. I heard about it from Rustic Beauty. I went out and purchased it. Now, did I know that it had it contained proteins or whatnot? I didn't do the research. Um, but I know how to use it now so that my hair doesn't feel hard and break. Aphigy is another one. I know how to use it now that my hair doesn't, you know, break. When I first purchased Surge, now this is a growth aid. Lots of people use this. I did not, when I heard about it, I went out and looked for this mercilessly. Did not know, you know, it was proteins. Now, when my hair started to feel hard and dry, I didn't understand what was going on. It was because of the protein. Now, what you need to identify is recognizing the proteins, knowing what to do, and knowing what your hair needs. You need to, you know, cooperate all these things so that you can help your hair. Now, if you have too much protein in your hair, one of the things I found that works for me is that I mentioned this in a previous video is to start with a clean palette if my hair has too much protein and it's hard I go and I clarify my hair I use a shampoo clarify my hair and then I you know I wash it make sure everything is out and then I use a moisturizing conditioner you know a light protein moisturizing conditioner and I leave that on for um, a bit and then I wash it out. That helps. And then I use moisturizing products afterwards. So find out what works for your hair. This is a lot about protein. Please take it in. I am not a professional. Go ahead and find out what works for you. And you do the best that works for your hair. We are all kings and queens. So treat your crowns with respect. I love you all and good evening.